I'm Troy Kirby with my Edmonds News with a quick look at the 2021 Washington State Legislative Session. On Tuesday, February 2nd, the House Public Safety Committee heard testimony on House Bill 1293, which would reduce unduly harsh sentences for offenses committed by domestic violence survivors. Our member programs have been identifying criminalized and incarcerated survivors as a problem over the past decade. It is a long-term issue with devastating impacts, including loss of custody of children, housing, employment, the option of calling 911 for future violence, and access to support services. Every day we see how immigrant, queer, trans, Black, and Indigenous survivors are being repeatedly criminalized for survival. We see how marginalized people are blamed and punished for trying to navigate conditions of violence in their lives. In the Senate's Business, Financial Services, and Trade Committee, Senate Bill 5351 examined business interruption insurance claims. Many courts long before this crisis ruled that there is property coverage for economic losses to a business regardless of whether the business's property has been damaged when there's an interruption like this. This goes way back. It's well grounded in the policy language, which is why the judges that have ruled this way in King County and Spokane County have reached the result that they did. Uh, These Washington rulings are consistent with longstanding law about how you read property policies when a business has, has a shutdown. The idea that this is going to be a big hit for the insurance industry. Uh, so I, I'd have, I see the sheriff uh, screen functions disabled for commentators like myself, but the National Association of Insurance Commissioners did a study in June, which is, you know, all the insurance commissioners around the country. And they solicited data on how many policies are out there that have virus exclusions in them. And the data that came back from that is 83%. So I'm happy to share my, you know, the study with you folks, but 83% of all these po- business interruption policies have a virus exclusion in them. So your bill is going to be directed at roughly 17% of business owners who have business interruption insurance. Namik and his members are very sensitive to the economic plight of small businesses who are suffering a financial hardship as a direct result of government-ordered COVID-19 shutdowns. I'm not going to go into what my distinguished Chief Justice colleague said. I'm going to talk a little bit about something different, and that is... During this pandemic, the government decided that small businesses would pay a high price to protect the health and general welfare of the collective society. The government made this difficult public policy decision, and whether one agrees with it or not, it was within their rightful discretion. Now it is within their rightful responsibility to solve that problem created by their order for business shutdowns. From a pure fairness standpoint, the government made small businesses take one for the team. Now the government should take care of those people as part of the team. This is one of the many reasons why NAMIC is opposed to the proposed legislation and why we have been a leader at the state and federal level on promoting comprehensive government solutions, government funded solutions to address the economic plight of small businesses. Thank you for watching the Daily Legislative Report by My Edmonds News, covering the 2021 legislative session.